Hi, I'm Erin Stewart, the founder of Scenic West Design. In this video, I'm going to walk you through our AI for product discovery cheat sheet. The notes in this cheat sheet are some highlights from our recent AI for product discovery workshop. We are also launching a Maven course on the same topic soon. So if you're interested in updates on that, please take a minute to fill out the course interest survey that I'll link to in the description. The first section of our AI for product discovery cheat sheet calls out AI tools that we hear most often from product and engineering teams when we ask which tools are they using at least weekly. In this list, the current Scenic West favorites are Notebook LM, Magic Patterns, and Lovable. Um, although different tools have different use cases or you know, in a given context or on a given day, uh, there might be one that's working better than the others. So we always try to keep tabs on multiple tools. Uh, and we encourage teams to do the same thing. So it's really important in general to be experimenting often. You can have your favorites or your go-to workflows for core teamwork, but it's important to, in terms of like professional development and just keeping up on how things are evolving, to be experimenting often. So we encourage uh, product and engineering teams to do the same. Also not listed on this, but important to mention would be that probably the most popular tool that we're hearing from engineering teams specifically um, so not really product discovery specific, but um, important to call out is uh, GitHub Copilot. That seems to be the current front runner um, in that specific niche. Um, so it's really, you know, beyond prototyping more um, copiloting or writing code with AI. Um, it's a little bit beyond the scope of this cheat sheet, but wanted to call that out. Um, the next section in this cheat sheet uh, calls out our free prompt library. Um, so you can link to that here. I'll show it in this tab. Here, um, I like to use this to just kind of remind myself like, okay, where can I be using AI? Um, and then there's a lot of great resources in here. You go in, you can look at the template, copy your clipboard and drop it into a tool of your choice, make edits, et cetera. Um, but it's really, I think, a nice resource to spark ideas of what's possible um, or as a quick reference. Um, you can certainly build out something similar uh, for your team as well. This one we built in Lovable. Um, and it's also worth calling out that uh, we built this cheat sheet in Figma Make, so that's not currently on the list of AI tools, super new, uh, and we haven't really fit it into our core like UX UI design workflows yet. Um, I think the feature set probably still needs to evolve in terms of how it plays with Figma design files a little bit better, and that's part of why we like magic patterns. We feel like that plays best with our like real day-to-day -day workflows versus just like the more like vibe coding, coding or prototyping. Um, kind of scenario where it's like cool to see what's possible, but we're not like there yet in terms of maturity to really be able to use it in like a day to day workflow as a product team. Um, if you are interested in seeing more about my process uh, for how I created this in Figma Make, I'll do a separate video for that and share it in the description as well. Um, scrolling on down, uh, the last section of content here calls out some sample product discovery specific AI use cases. So um, there's some notes here on our take for what things are best done is thought of as human and AI collaboration versus or maybe better use cases for um, relatively AI led execution. Obviously, there is a human input in there um, in most cases for prompting, um, but you can really lean on AI pretty heavily in this column. And then on the far right are um, a few examples of scenarios where we would flag that they should really be human led conversations, decision points, et cetera. Um, so generally speaking, anytime your team is doing more strategic work where your context of your business, your industry, what you're trying to accomplish from a business model standpoint or for a competitive advantage, like keep in mind that while you can use AI uh, synthesized information to um, help drive those decisions, you want to make really sure that one, you've like fact checked everything. Anything that you are using that came out of AI is clearly referenced or has sources. Maybe you've done your own due diligence on those sources as well. Um, and that ultimately, uh, if you're trying to create a uniquely competitive business or a unique product, um, there are certain things that really are going to be beyond the bounds of what you would have AI do, at least today, right? Uh, finally, just to call out that new upcoming uh, online course uh, that we are going to launch on Maven, if you're interested in learning more about that, uh, feel free to fill out this course interest survey. We'd really love your insights and uh, input in terms of shaping content for that as well. Thank you.